Well, good afternoon, and I invite you to sit down with me for just a few minutes here as the evening time draws near. And my question today with you is, have you visited the prayer closet today? This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Lights Devotional, and I'd just kind of like to ask you that question because I'm afraid many neglect the place of prayer. And I know the disciples came to Christ and they wanted instruction in prayer. And he told them that uh, they were not to be as the, as the Pharisees that stood on the street corner and prayed those loud, eloquent, flowery prayers. He told them that when thou prayest, enter into thy closet and shut the door and pray to thy father in secret. And those that pray in secret, he promised that he would reward them openly. Now, Jesus said, enter into thy closet. I remember as a small child growing up out in Kansas, we lived in a very small parsonage. And of course, the rooms were very small and it didn't allow too much space for a closet. Nonetheless, there was a little closet there in the room and and uh, I thought about it, I don't know whether it was my dad preaching this or an evangelist that came through, but nonetheless, I thought, well, they tell me that I'm to enter into the closet to pray. And that proved to be quite a challenge. As I say, the closet was small, and there's a lot of stuff in that closet. And it said that enter into the closet and shut the door. And the closet didn't have a door. It just had a curtain hanging over it. So how was I to get into the closet and shut the door? That was a dilemma for a young boy that was trying to be obedient to the command of Christ to enter into the closet and pray in secret. Well, I'm sure that we've all discovered that that isn't to be taken literally. Uh, it's not maybe not a bad idea if your closet is large enough. A lot of homes today have the big walk-in closets where it would be no problem. But uh, the, the idea is that we find a place where we can shut the world out. And I know that uh, prayer is awfully important because the devil fights prayer so much. He tries to keep us from the place of prayer by keeping us so busy with other things. And once we visit the place of prayer, we find that it's so easy to become distracted. And so I know that uh, prayer is very important, or Satan would not try to hinder us in our prayers as he does. So we've got to find a place where we can shut the world out, eliminate all the distractions that may come up. We've got to find a place where it can be just alone with God. Poet said, alone with God, the world forbidden. Alone with God, fellowship sweet. And you know, we've got to just find a place where we can shut the world out, where we can forget about the cares of life for a little while, where we can forget about the concerns of life. We all have a lot of cares that weigh heavy upon us. And a lot of times uh, we are concerned about a good many things. And we know that uh, we've got to forget about all that which would be distracting and focus on our communion with God. And I believe this day that uh, if you will make an effort that you can truly find a closet where you can shut the door and spend time alone with God. Like I say, that's not an easy thing to do. It's uh, difficult many times to... Uh, even find that place where we can shut the world out. But you've got to discover some place, whether it be behind the wheel of your car, if you travel uh, to work and back perhaps, or whether it be just kind of retiring to a place where you uh, just get away from uh, family and friends for a little while. We've got to enter the closet and shut the door. So have you visited the prayer closet today? I trust that each one of us will make it a habit each day to enter the closet, shut the door, and pray to our Father, which is in secret. And I guarantee you, He will reward us openly for the time that we spend with Him. Heavenly Father, may we not neglect the place of prayer. It's important to us to commune with our Heavenly Father. And we pray, Lord, that Thou will help us to find that place 
of communion and fellowship with our Creator. Bless us throughout the evening hours, on down throughout the journey of life. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that. Now, I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lower Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.